wondered about tips and tricks for layers on Photoshop. Hi friends, this is Laura aka Lulu Sketches. In case you're new here, I'm an artist at Disney. I'm currently a background painter on Tangle the Series and I also do visual development and character design. If you want to see my artwork, check out my Instagram, Lulu Sketches. I do a hell of a lot of digital painting and a big part of painting on Photoshop is layers. I get a lot of questions about how to use layers properly and how to organize them. So I decided to make a little Photoshop tutorial with layers, tips, and tricks that I use the most often. Here is how to use layers like a boss. When you first open a new canvas in Photoshop, with the default settings there will be a white layer called background. To make a new layer, hit the new layer button on your toolbar or use the shortcut Command Shift N. To rename a layer, double click the layer name and then type your new name. Beside each layer is a little eye symbol. Click on it to hide or unhide the layer. The shortcut for this is command comma on a Mac or control comma on Windows. To view only one layer and hide all the other layers, hold down the option or alt key and then hit the eye beside the layer you wanna look at. To duplicate a layer, select the layer you want to duplicate and then hit Command J or Control J. This makes a new layer via copy. For selecting multiple layers, it's just like selecting files on your computer. Hold down Command or Control to hand select multiple layers or hold down Shift to select a bunch of layers at once. You can then move multiple layers on your layer toolbar for reordering or you can use this to move multiple layers at the same time on your canvas. Another way to move multiple layers on your canvas at the same time is by linking layers, which is this button on the toolbar. Once your layers are linked, if you select one of the linked layers and move it on your canvas, all the other linked layers will move along with it. To shift a layer or multiple layers up or down on the layer toolbar, hold down Command or Control and use the left and right bracket keys to shift your layers up or down. If you want to just change which layer is selected without using your mouse, hold down the Option key or Alt key and use the left and right bracket keys. If you want to adjust the opacity of a layer, here is where opacity is located on the layer toolbar. Pull this arrow left or right to turn the opacity down or up. You can also just use the number keys on your keyboard. For example, if you hit the number four, the opacity of your layer will change to 40%. Another useful thing in digital painting is locking the transparency of a layer, which makes it so you can only paint the pixels already painted on that layer. You can click this button on your layer toolbar to lock transparent pixels, or just use the forward slash key on your keyboard to toggle transparency on or off. You can also lock layers so you don't edit them accidentally. Use this lock button on your layer toolbar to protect a layer. In the same way the forward slash key toggles transparency for the target layer, it can also toggle the last applied lock. So if you lock a layer with the lock button, you can unlock it or relock it with the forward slash key. Clipping masks are one of my all time favorite things in Photoshop. To make a clipping mask, option click the line dividing two layers. This will clip one layer to the layer underneath it. When you paint on the clipping mask, only the pixels of the layer it's clipped to will show. So it's kind of like locking the transparency of a layer in painting, but with clipping mask, it keeps your edits separate. For example, if you wanted to change the color of your line art to blue, you could lock the transparent pixels of your line art and paint blue, and this would turn your line art blue. A cleaner way to do this would be with a clipping mask. Clip a layer to your line art layer and paint the clipping mask blue. So if you change your mind about what color you want your line art to be, you can easily just adjust the clipping mask instead of repainting your line art. One of the most useful things on your layer toolbar is layer groups. Almost all the tips I've mentioned for layers can apply to layer groups as well. To make a group, 
use this folder button on your layered toolbar, or use the shortcut Command G or Control G, and then drag whatever layers you want into your group folder. A quicker way to make layers into a group is to select all the layers that you want in a group and then hit Command G, and all the layers you had selected will automatically be put into a group. I keep my sketches, line art, and paint all in their own groups and subgroups. Groups also make it easy to change the opacity of a whole group or hide several layers at once. You can also use masks on entire groups of layers. And in Photoshop CS6 and higher, you can use clipping masks with layer groups. And as I said before, clipping masks are one of my favorite things in Photoshop. So when I upgraded to CS6 and discovered I could clip to groups, it was life-changing to my workflow. One way this is helpful is that you can clip adjustment layers to entire groups. So if there are adjustments you want to make at the end of your painting to several layers, but not your entire painting, all you have to do is clip an adjustment layer to a group. It's literally amazing. I used to have to merge everything to make edits. Clipping masks and groups are just the best thing. Okay. The last thing I want to mention is changing the color of your layers on your layered toolbar. This is purely for organization on your toolbar. It's especially useful if your painting has a ton of layers like mine always end up with. To change the color of a layer on your layer toolbar, right click on the layer and then select a color. I especially like to use layer colors to organize my layers at work since I know someone else is going to have to sift through my layers. So I try to keep things as organized as possible. making another layers tutorial, this time on layer effects, layer modes, adjustments, and masks, the fun stuff. So if that's a tutorial you're interested in seeing, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.